said he prayed that someday we'll all do better. We wanted to know what does doing better look like? So we went back to all five men and asked them. What doing better looks like to me is for white people to really be more conscious and more aware of the decisions that they make and how they affect um, minority groups, specifically black people, um, looking at decisions that their answers have made in the past, how that affects us today, um, and be more aware of it, I think, until that change can't really happen. To me, doing better means that we all have to be anti-racist. When we see the mistreatment of women or people of color, we individually have to take a stand. When we are at work and we see a lack of equity for women, for people of color, we have to stop and say, this is not right. And we have to do things to make sure that these things don't happen in the future. I think if we took ownership in the way we think, the way we feel for others, and in our actions, it would definitely help the process in which we are going through a little more easier. I believe for the most part, not for all, but many whites must first go back and acknowledge that we have experienced in our country systemic racism. We must also challenge whites to look at the Constitution where it says all men are created equally. And let's do all that we can in this country to make that a reality. Uh, to me, doing better means to step outside of your own circle. Learn about the differences of other people and understanding how your role can contribute to their circle. And then find ways to make those changes. And it starts with a conversation. Here's another option if you're just not sure where to start. Take the 21 Day Equity Challenge. It's free from the United Way of Central Carolinas. You get an email every day with real information on how to combat racism and inequality right here in our community. We have a link on WSOCTV.com and on our WSOC TV news app. Look under community. Cafe for hosting our conversation. The Charlotte Rescue Mission learn new skills to help them continue overcoming addiction, poverty, and hopelessness. We're grateful for their hospitality. This is not a closed conversation, and it shouldn't end here. These men don't want to be elevated or given special treatment. They and so many like them just want to be seen as fathers, brothers, co-workers, and friends. But that can't happen if their voices are the only ones heard. They want you to continue talking about race. And that's something we'll continue doing at Channel 9. Hope you'll stay with us along the way. I just want to be seen as, as the father, as the son, as the husband, as the neighbor that I am. Um, respect me for my differences. Be inquisitive about my differences. Don't make assumptions. If you have questions, ask me. And we can have a, a great conversation. I would hope that the Caucasian white community or anybody would see me as an individual created by God who... Uh, has something to offer them that could perhaps even enhance or better their own experience in life based upon the experiences that I've had.